Good day everyone. I am John Mark Valles Naldoza, an applicant for Junior High School Mathematics of Hagna High School. Today, I will be conducting my teaching demonstration. Sit back, relax, and learn. Everyone, please stand for our opening prayer. I work, please read, please lead our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, please be seated. Good morning, everyone. How are you this morning? Okay, very good. Very fine. Excellent. Okay, that's the spirit. Okay, but before that, will you please arrange the rows? Okay, thank you so much. Pick up a little bit of trashes found in the floor. Okay, thank you so much. Are you ready now? Okay, today, before we are going to start our lesson, let's have first a game. Okay, we have a game? Okay, so let's have a game. Our game is entitled four picks in one word are you familiar with the game okay very good so let's start okay so for the first picture give me a letter okay letter m very good next letter okay letter e very good next yes what's the word okay measure very good very intelligent grade seven class okay Next. Okay, so that's measure. Okay, next picture. Oh, what's that? Okay, who could guess the exact word? Okay, give me first a letter. Okay, that's letter T. Another letter. Okay, letter L. Next, how about that? Oh, letter C. Could anyone guess the word already? Oh, letter R. Okay, very good. So that is central okay measure then you also have the word central okay so this afternoon this morning we are going to talk about the measures of central tendency of the ungrouped data so there are three ways in finding the central tendency okay we have the mean the median and the mode okay before we're going to start let me have first our objective for today. What is our target for today? First, let's differentiate what is a mean, a median, and a mode. Okay, next. Okay, illustrate the measures of central tendency of statistical data. And the third, calculate the measures of central tendency of the ungrouped data. So is it okay with you, our objectives for today? Okay, thank you. So let's start. Okay, what the measure center, central tendency is? What is that? Everybody, please read. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so the first is we have what we call as the, okay, so that, those are actually the symbols. The mean, the median, and the mode. Okay, so let's start with the mean. Okay, all boys, please read. Okay, thank you so much. That is the definition of the mean. When we talk about the mean, that is synonymous with average. Okay, mean is average. That is synonym. That's the same. Okay, how to find the average or the mean of the ungrouped data? What is that x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3? Actually, those represent data. So all the numbers that you see, simply add them all, then count how many numbers are there, then divide it by the total sum of the numbers. So if I give you the numbers, simply add everything and divide it by how many numbers are given. So very simple, average. Okay, next. Okay, let's, let's have an example. The age of five contestants in MTOP Challenge are the following. So given you have 18, 17, 18, 19, and 18, you find the average. So what you're going to do is simply add them all, then the total is 19, then divided it by 5. 5 are the total number of data given. So 90 divided by 5, the answer is 18. Very good. Okay, next. Okay, so next we have median. 
What is median? Okay, that's a symbol for median. When we talk about median, just bear in your mind middle. Median, middle. Okay, so next, how to find the median? Okay, in order to find the median, first, you need to arrange the data. Unlike the mean or the average, you simply add them all. But for the median, you need to arrange it in ascending or in descending order. So arrange. After you arrange, let's apply the cancellation method. You first cancel the outermost method from the right side and the left side until the middle is left. And what is left is the median. Okay, so example, the seven example. Okay, seven mothers were selected and given a blood pressure check. So these are the given blood pressure. So again, first, you need to arrange the data. After you arrange, you do the cancellation of the outermost data. Then what is left is the middle. And the middle is 121, which is now our median. Okay, so the median is 100. 21. Okay, how about if the case, if the total number of data given is even? So there is no only one middle data. If there are two middle data, what are you going to do? So the two middle data, you just simply add it and divide it by two. And that is your median. Okay, so let's have an example. Okay, so you arrange first. Again, in median, you need to arrange first. Then after that, you do the cancellation. So when after you cancel, there are two remaining data. So the two remaining data, just simply add. Then after adding, divide it by two. And you get now the answer, which is 411. Okay, so we're done for the median. Next is the mode. Okay, what is a mode? Okay, when we talk about mode, just think of most often. Or most frequent repeating data okay or let's try to think of the word popular okay like the different artists popular or is funny or BTS or oh, they're very popular so that's mode okay so there are conditions in giving the mode there are types of modes actually a set of data can have no mode but there are also data which has a lot of modes okay if there is only one mode you need modal if there are two modes, that is bimodal, three modes, trimodal, and other one that is multimodal. Okay, four or more, that's multimodal. Okay, let's have an example. Example is, let's find the mode of the given set of data. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do, arrange. Median and mode, you need to arrange. Okay, arrange it in ascending or descending. Now, in a given example, what is the most repeating data? Okay, that's 22. Very good class. That's 22. So therefore, the mode is 22. How do, you, how do you describe the mode? What type of mode is given? Unimodal. Okay, so that is unimodal. Okay, so now you have learned three measures of central tendency. May you use them in any situations? No, because each of it measures have different characteristics. Okay, so let's try to use it in the real life situation. Voting results, where can you have it? Voting results belongs to the mode. Okay, next, school test result, that's mean. Then salaries of more workers, okay, that's median. How about the best selling? Okay, that's the mode. Monthly temperature of the, uh, the city is mean. Then the last, admission of grades, Admi uh, the admission grades of university students median. Okay, is there any other questions? Clarifications? Okay, are you ready now if I am, will be giving you activity? Okay, so for the activity, can we, can we have this by group? Okay, you, okay, you select your group members. Group yourselves by five. Okay, answer this in five minutes. Can you do it in five minutes? Okay, the one whole size of paper. Okay, time's up. Okay, let's check your answers. Okay, who got perfect? Wow, everybody got perfect. Very intelligent class. 
And this time, since you have understood everything about the and group data, is there any questions? Okay, none, none, no questions at all. I will be giving you assignment. And this assignment will be done by pair. Do you like it? Okay, by pair. What is your assignment? You need to conduct a classroom-based survey which apply the concepts of the measures of central tendency. So, survey in the classroom. Write it in a short bun paper. When you like to submit it next week, okay, next week, Monday. That is, that is by pair. Please all stand for our closing prayer. Jessica, will you please read a lead our closing prayer? Okay, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen.